Okay, real quick, I wanted to go over how this chord diagram reads um, for some of you that you know may not know what all this means. Okay, first of all, this is the neck of the resonator guitar, like if you were looking straight down on it, okay, where this line here, this white line, that's your thickest string. That's your sixth string or your G string. And the strings get thinner as you go up in pitch, right? Where this, you can't really see it right there because it bleeds into the white, but that is going to be your thinnest string, your D string. So as you go up, this is your G string, your sixth string. B, that's your fifth. D is your fourth. G is your third string. B is your second string. And then D is your first string. And what's going on here with these yellow circles with the letters in them, that's exactly what note of the chord you would be playing on that particular string, right? So say if you put a straight bar here on your second fret, and just you know made sure the bar is real straight right over that second fret, the exact notes you'd be playing over that A chord, and these are the titles of your chords up here, right? G chord, A chord, B, C, right? That note right here, that's going to be an A note. On your fifth string, second fret, that's a C sharp. And that's E on your fourth string. So A, C sharp, E. Root, third, fifth. Root, third, fifth. And the same thing goes as you go up in pitch, you know, up your neck, then that's, that's a B chord, C, and D. And all you have to do to make these chords, like say you wanted a B flat chord, take this whole chord and move it backwards one fret to right there on your fourth fret. I'm sorry, your third fret. If you wanted a B flat chord you'd play, that's your third fret. Okay, so looking at my uh, minor chords here. Okay, these, what's going on here with this one, this is minor chords with no third. That means this string here you're not going to be playing, that's your second string. And your fifth string you're not going to be playing. So you're omitting the third, which isn't really a minor chord. You're basically playing, you know, just roots and fifth of the chord but it can substitute as a minor chord, okay? Whereas down here, these are actual minor chords with that third in them, but there's no fifth of the chord. So for example, this C minor chord, you're not playing on this sixth string and you're not playing on this third string. You're just hitting that fifth string first fret, fourth string first fret, second string, and first string. And that gives you the notes C, E flat, C, E flat. So root third, root third, with no fifth. But that can also substitute as a nice minor chord, even though you're not playing the full you know, root, minor, third, fifth of the chord. And once again, it's just the names of your chords are up here at the top. And uh, it just goes up the alphabet, right? Same thing right there. Okay, well, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, I wanted to show you how this document that I made with the different descriptions and the, uh, the outline of the different scales, how it actually works too. Okay, so up here you have the title of your scale. This is the C major scale, and then you have a description. Okay, then below that, this tells you what scale degree each particular note of that scale is. And following underneath that is the, the note name of that particular note of the scale. Okay, so here your root is C, and this is a C major scale. This is going to be our foundation. The second is D, the third is E, the fourth is F, fifth is G, sixth is A, seventh is B, and then you have your octave there. Okay, so then for a minor scale, in red here, I'm showing you what notes you're actually altering from that major scale. Okay, so to get a C minor, or also called a C natural minor, you're flatting your third, so you'll have an E flat there. You're going to flat your sixth, an A flat, and you'll flat your seventh. Okay, but for a C harmonic minor, you flat your third and you flat your sixth, but you leave the seventh major, just like it was up here in this major scale. You leave that a major seventh. Okay, and another scale we're going to be working with is the C minor pentatonic scale. Now this one, see how I have blank spaces here? You have no second and you have no sixth. Okay, you're actually omitting those notes and that's where pentatonic, that five note scale, gets its name from because you have one, two, three, four, five notes in that scale, not counting the octave. 
So this one, you flat your third, you have an E flat in there, and you flat your seventh, and you also omit your second of the scale and the sixth, and that gives you a nice minor pentatonic scale. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is minor chords, how to make them, and different places where you can play them. But before we get going with that, let's just do a quick review, and I'm sure all you guys know this, but let's review over where our major chords are with the root on the sixth string, okay? If you just play open, all your strings open, that's a G chord, right? Bar on your second fret, that's the A chord. Go to your fourth fret for B as in boy, and it's just going up the alphabet. Fifth fret is C. Seventh fret is D as in dog. Ninth fret, E. Tenth fret, F. And my twelfth fret, just like my open, is G. And if you kept going up, two frets up from G, way up here, is the A chord. So that's 12, 13, 14. 15, 16 is the B chord. 17 is my C chord. And 19, way up here, is my D chord. Okay, so knowing that, um, let's start talking about the minors now. Okay, well, let's talk about how to make a minor chord from a major chord. And, um, you know, just exactly what the difference is between a major and a minor chord. Okay, we're going to use C as our example here. We're going to use C scales and, and the C chord on your fifth fret. Okay, the basic way difference between a major and a minor chord as far as sound goes is a lot of people say the major chord is the happy sound and the minor chord it's more of a sad sound, okay? But the main difference is between a major and a minor chord is what's called a flatted third. And I'm gonna mention that a lot in this lesson, that flatted third. And what that is, is you can figure out the third of a chord by taking its major scale. So if you got your tablature printed out, I'm gonna be referring to that right now. Okay, if we played a C major scale, which you can see that in your tablature, the notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, and if we think about that as far as numbers go, we, we think root note C, the second of the scale.